Okay, back to the rules. When one or more sub-elements are at the maximum setting, the brightness is always 100%. So let's pick the green. Take it up to 100%. This is pure green. It has a saturation of 100% and a brightness of 100%. If I add another element, blue, the brightness is still 100%, although the hue is changing. As you see, it goes from pure green to pure cyan, then every step in between. If I dial down the green a little bit, then the overall brightness is determined by whichever one of these elements has the maximum setting. And if I start to dial in the red, then I'm changing the saturation. You'll notice this moving more towards a uh, gray. Let's pump up the green a little bit more. Add some more blue. And start dialing in more red. And as the red element gets closer to the level of the blue element, the saturation decreases. It's all the way down. It's 100% saturation. And all the way up till it's tied with the blue one. Then the saturation is whatever the difference is between the least and the most. If I dial down the green, just a hair, it's still green, but the saturation is dropping out of it quickly, very quickly. This is hundred percent brightness. Now, if the green element drops below, then it becomes the new determination for the saturation. And you see as it drops down towards zero, the saturation of the, is the blending of the red and the blue, or the magenta, is increasing in saturation until if all the green is taken out, then the saturation is 100%. And the brightness is whatever the level these two have. So if I select the red and the blue together, Right now they're at 80%. I dial them up to 100% brightness or take the brightness out all the way down to black. Okay, you see how this is working? Bring the green back up. Okay, the saturation is always determined by the one element that has the least value. The brightness is always determined by the sub-element that has the maximum value. When at least one of these elements is zero, the saturation is of the resultant hue is 100%. And when all three elements, all three sub elements are active, have a value greater than zero, the hue is determined by the two sub elements greater than the sub element with the minimum value. So the green here doesn't really play a role. 
it's going to be the red and the blue and as I dial in more red you'll see that the color is shifting more towards the red if I take the red out and dial in the blue the hue will shift more towards the blue and when I cross over here and the red is the maximum we are in the red magentas if I come down here the saturation is getting greater and we have the blending of the red and the green and since these are almost equal proportions up this is going to be a dark orange and there you have exactly that a dark orange now if we go back to Photoshop real quick over here we have the CMYK color model and notice you can't select these to use this with CMYK is a very complicated color model however uh, it's complicated because in the real world theoretically CMY by itself should work but it doesn't and black ink needs to be added to these combinations in order to accurately get grayscales and blacks um, I may insert more information here but for right now um, let's just go back to motion <coughs> on this side of this demonstration I have a theoretical CMY model now theoretically CMY is just the exact opposite of RGB and I'll take I will show you how these values fit into this by turning on this alright I have to turn the opacity up there we go alright you can see how the intensity values of each one of these the cyan, magenta and yellow sub elements fit into the space that is left by the red the green and the blue elements and turn the opacity down Let's see how they just sort of fade in right edge to edge CMY is the exact opposite it's what you get if you subtract R G and B from white so if you subtract red from white you are left with this much cyan you subtract green from white you are left with this much magenta and if you subtract blue from white you were left with this much yellow CMY is also referred to as a subtractive color model and these values red and cyan are 180 degrees apart on the color wheel they are exact opposites the same with green and magenta and blue and yellow and if we move over to here you can see cyans are here red is here across from green is magenta and across from blue is yellow 